Hey guys, it's me again. Um, it's been about a month and um, there is a very good reason for that. Um, but before I get to that reason, I would like to kind of sort of announce-ish, if the word announce is used here, that um, this is my last video for what was supposed to be a much longer semester long project. Um, I'd like to thank the marketing department for letting me be a part of this, specifically Mike Metzger. He um, came to me uh, with this idea kind of at the start of the semester in January, even maybe beginning of February, and I was like, this sounds like fun, and he was like, okay, cool. We could use somebody like you working on this. Um, and I've had a lot of fun with it, regardless of whatever my wacky uploading schedule says. Um, I think this might be my fifth video, one of which, um, one of which beforehand, um, it would have been six, but I think one of them got weird with uploads. I don't remember what happened, so I just kind of, or uploading rather, so I just kind of cut it. But, um, anyway, I'm rambling. This has been a lot of fun, this project, and I wish it could have continued longer. Um, I wish I had more to post as far as Terra State Community College and my activities go, but um, because of what I'm about to remind everyone of, that is not what got to happen. So, um, oh, in conclusion, thank you for everybody, or thank you for everybody in the marketing department for kind of like allowing this to happen, allowing me to have fun, allowing me to get over my fear of being on camera and sounding weird and talking weird and showing people portions of my life, even if not a lot of people are watching. And um, yeah, but back to that first thing. Um, I haven't posted in about a month and some change. And my last post I believe was about spring break starting with um, Lucas and a couple of our friends in Treetops Cafe and when we asked them what they were most excited about spring break, a lot of them, including ourselves, said that they would be excited for the break from schoolwork, um, from classes, teachers, homework, tests, quizzes. We should have been a little bit more careful what we wished for. Not that anybody could have saw this coming. Um, in the week or so of spring break, maybe a little before, maybe a little after, COVID-19 became a much larger problem from Ohio, for Ohio than it had been. Um, it had been a lot of places beforehand. Obviously, it had been in China, Italy, places around the globe that weren't us, and then it became a problem for us. Um, and in that week of spring break, the week beforehand, all of a sudden, classes were ripped away from us like that. Um, that is a goose. <laughs> anyway, sorry, back to recapping what happened. Um, classes were ripped away from us, in person at least. All of a sudden, we wouldn't be able to see our friends. We wouldn't be able to stay in the landings anymore and have our dorm rooms. We wouldn't get to have a college experience that we had signed up for. Um, and me personally, though no one in my family is sick and I'm quarantining with um, somebody I consider very important to me, uh, my partner, um, and the family, even though everything is good on that front, I'm not sick, my family isn't sick, <laughs> my significant other's family isn't sick, I lost a lot. I lost going to work on a regular basis because I am a tour guide and I work for Tara and you can't give tours to people from the outside without reason, or I mean without, um, yeah, without reason, and, um, oops, sliding, um, you can't give tours to an empty campus, 
especially one that has been closed because of a global pandemic. Um, and that really sucks because that was one of the few jobs I think that I've ever had that I really could say that I enjoy. I mentioned that at the beginning of this video project, but um, I never really got the chance to touch on it and appreciate it until now. I lost um, in-person contact with my instructors, my teachers, um, and I'm gonna be honest, I really need that. Um, I'm not a good online student. I've never been a good online student, and being forced into taking online classes because of a global pandemic is not the way I wanted to end my spring semester or start my fall semester, depending on how long this thing goes. Um, mm, being away from my friends, it's horrible. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I cared about these people until I had the opportunity to not see them for quite some time. Um, but, you know, I should be grateful, and I am grateful for health and safety and the fact that I can go into a Costco and wear like a mask and still consider myself safe leaving. Not everybody gets that luxury, and for everyone who has been more affected by this than I have as far as sickness weakness, fatigue, whatever all of the symptoms are, I'm so sorry. <sighs> Nobody ever could have predicted this happening. Nobody wanted to. In fact, uh, terrorist states, dorms stayed open longer and continue to offer housing to individuals who uh, don't have a more solid place to go. So Clearly, they weren't expecting this either, but we're very prepared for those who uh, don't have the same opportunities to quarantine as I do. <sighs> but on a more positive note, um, the world is still going on. I'm still seeing the food businesses that are open prosper. I'm seeing um, our essential workers and healthcare workers and all of them, they're not getting paid as much as they definitely need to in this time, but they're still working, and stimulus checks are apparently a thing. Um, this isn't the end of the world. This is not a goodbye. This is a see you later, but a very, very crappy one. Um, <sighs> anyway, I've gone on for too long. Um, I just want to give the message to everyone out there who might be watching this and thinking that I'm ridiculous and I'm in a garage and I'm wearing lipstick that does not match my complexion whatsoever. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> that um, it'll get better. It'll get better because... I don't know, hope, faith, social distancing, and not the end of the world, even though it might feel like it. Um, so, this has been my final video blog for Terra State Community College's spring semester of 2020. I've appreciated sharing my life with you, these updates. And maybe there are still videos to come of nicer things, like what the outside looks like and what I'm doing while social distancing, going out into nature, that kind of thing. But until then, garage video blog about what happened. Bye.